This is Accurate TV News. Where you get your news on time, on point. Seven-year-old pens a sad letter to father who murdered her mother. Andre McDonald pleaded guilty to killing his wife, Andrine, and disposing of her body. Their now seven-year-old daughter, who suffers from a post-traumatic stress disorder, PTSD, said that her father will pay and be punished forever for murdering her mother. I forgive you. Father of slain woman urges no revenge against Beachy Stout's killer son. February 7, 2023, Andre Williams. Paul Anderson, the father of Andrine McDonald, is pleading with his friends and the public not to take vengeance on any member of the Andre McDonald's family shortly after the United States Army Major was sentenced for killing his daughter. Both McDonald's are Jamaicans who might migrated to the U.S. after getting married. Andre, 40, is from a popular Portland-based family rooted in business and controversy. His father, 67-year-old Everton Beachy Stout MacDonald, is accused of murdering both his wives in Jamaica and is currently in custody. The elder MacDonald is scheduled to stand the trial on September 18, 2023 for the murder of his second wife, Tonia, and in January 2024 for the murder of his first wife Marlene. The younger McDonald who was convicted of manslaughter on Friday was slapped with the maximum 20 years imprisonment on Monday by 399 District Court Judge Frank Castro. Castro had the legal option from a minimum of 2 to a maximum 20 years. McDonald, at the start of the trial opted to have Castro and not the 12 members jury decide his fate. On Monday, after the sentencing was handed down, Anderson looked at teary-eyed MacDonald in the face and told him he forgave him. I love you and that will never change. In spite of everything, I forgive you. I love you and that cannot change. But you took a part of me. A part of me is in the cemetery and a part of me is going to jail. Anderson told Andre MacDonald before he was whisked off to a boxer county jail. I love you Andre. If I see you drowning, I would jump off to save you, despite of what you have done. Paul told Andre that he took him for a son he had lost. Andrean's sister, Cindy Johnson, read from a letter to the accused asking why he chose murder and not the white paper called divorce. Johnson said that Andre's young autistic daughter suffer from a post-traumatic stress disorder, PTSD the a condition that is triggered by a terrifying event she burns her toys attacks her teacher and peers johnson told the court the prosecution also read a letter penned by the child to her father in which she say he will pay and be punished forever for killing her mother. Judge Castro, before handing down the sentence, told MacDonald that it was devastating that his then seven-year-old daughter was a witness to the deadly assault. He likened MacDonald, who confessed during his testimony to the crime, to a serial killer. If you showed some emotions, it would have helped you, Judge Castro told Andre, adding that the defendant did not seem bothered while the parents of the deceased were testifying. The judge also told Andre that he was looking at his phone during the trial and only paid attention when pictures of his wife's bones were shown to the jury. The prosecution led evidence that Andre McDonald killed his wife and hid the evidence. After he set her on fire, he also used the skeleton remains of a cow to conceal her remains. Means Andreen, 29, was first reported missing on March 1, 2019. Investigators found an axe, hatchet, and heavy duty work gloves at the McDonald's Texas home. McDonald was initially arrested on March 2, accused of tampering with evidence, but was released April 3rd after his bail was reduced to 300,000 US dollars. Officials determined that remains found on July 11th, about 10 miles from the couple's house, were Andrean's. Baxter County Sheriff arrested and charged Andre with murder on July 13th. During 
during the trial, Andre McDonald, in his own testimony, detailed how he knocked and kicked his wife until she stopped breathing and then disposed of her body in two garbage bags. His attorney presented on Monday character witness report to the court which according to Judge Castro spoke glowingly of McDonald and also had sympathy for the victim's family. There were disputes about infidelity and Andrean's decision to delist the accused from her business records. Andre McDonald will be eligible for parole after serving 10 years. Time already served will be considered. Don't forget to subscribe to Accurate TV News. If you don't not do it already, you can do it now.